With so many AI programs available at universities, how do you choose the one that will best prepare you for a career in AI? I'm Jean, your trusted engineering mentor, and I'm going to show you how to use the tools to find the best rankings for both undergraduate and master programs in both AI and computer science. We'll also talk about what factors to consider when you're choosing a school and also look at the best AI schools curriculum in detail. In terms of universities in the US, U.S. News and the World Report is the most famous company for ranking colleges. They've been around since 1948. And this was also the resource that I looked into when I was applying for colleges and choosing the best fit for myself. I think there's a lot that we can learn from learning how they rank the universities. They look at a bunch of stuff like how many students graduate, how much the professors get paid, what type of professors they have, how big are the class sizes, and what is the total number of students for each program. Lately, they've also been looking at how well students do after they graduate, like whether they get jobs. And they get all this information directly from colleges and the Department of Education plus other resources. But remember the rankings aren't everything. You should also think about how big the school is because that could determine what kind of networking opportunities that you might have. Where is it located? Like is it in a big city or in the middle of nowhere? What classes and curriculum do they offer? Also, you can think about what types of professors they have that could also determine the prestige of the schools and what type of companies will come and recruit at the university. When looking at the tuitions and fees, also think about the cost of living in the area and what kind of financial aid they offer. For example, I got into both UCLA and USC. USC is a private school and the tuition for USC is probably around double what it will cost to go to UCLA. But USC offered me a much larger grant so it actually ended up being much cheaper for me to attend USC compared to UCLA. So look into scholarships, grants, work-study programs, whatever the college has to offer to help make the college more affordable. I also recommend talking to students and alums from the school to get a better idea of what it's like to go to that school. In my experience, when I reached out to people, they were really friendly. If you just ask them, hey, I'm interested in attending the school that you went to, and I would love to hear your experience. What did you like about it? And most people would love to talk to you. Now let's get into the top 11 AI bachelor's programs in 2024. Number one is Carnegie Mellon, followed by Stanford, MIT, UC Berkeley, Georgia Tech, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, University of Washington, Cornell, Caltech, University of Texas, Austin, and UC San Diego. I even made a spreadsheet that you can download and it's on my website available for you to download for free. So just click the link in the description to get the full copy. On this spreadsheet, I've also included rankings for computer science bachelor's programs and AI master's programs. You'll notice there's a ton of overlap between the three programs. And the list is almost identical with just a few differences here and there. And obviously not everyone is going to have this opportunity, but if you can swing it, I highly recommend that you actually visit the colleges that you're interested in. There's just something about stepping onto the campus that gives you a real sense of what the school atmosphere is going to be like. Personally, I've had the opportunity to visit eight of the 11 schools on the top list mainly during my time at WhatsApp and Facebook when I was attending college recruiting fairs for interns and hiring new grads. Schools that I haven't visited on the list are Georgia Tech, Cornell, and Austin. But from my experiences at other schools, I can tell you that each school has their own unique vibe. Among my personal favorites are CMU, Stanford, MIT, and Berkeley. And I'm not a big fan of Illinois because it's just really, really cold in Illinois. I have lived in Chicago for a bit and it was so freezing. Um, although I suppose that CMU and MIT are also pretty cold. Caltech is going to have better weather for sure, but it leans more towards research and academia, while Stanford and Berkeley are more connected to Silicon Valley and tech companies. The truth be told, any of the top schools I've mentioned here, they all offer pretty good curriculums. So think more about what matters more to you because like for me, I grew up in the Midwest, so I didn't really want to be anywhere cold again for college. So my preference was for schools in California. Your priorities might be different. So take the time to really figure out what matters most to you and do the research. 
The US news school reviews are pretty comprehensive, so read through the reviews. Also visit each school's website directly to check out their curriculum. So for this video, let's look at Carnegie Mellon University's website together since they are ranked the best for both bachelor's program and master's in AI. Their AI at CMU website showcases all kinds of AI related programs, which makes sense because AI can be applied across many fields. For this video, let's zoom into the bachelor's in AI program at CMU. To major in AI at CMU, you first need to get into the School of Computer Science, SCS, and then you can officially declare BS AI major in the spring of your first year. Plus, there is the option to minor in AI or even double major. Back in 2002, I attended CMU's orientation to learn more about the CS program there. Granted, it was over 20 years ago now, but one thing that did make a big impression for me was their stance on switching majors. They weren't really supportive of it, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't really want to attend CMU. So if you are set on studying computer science from the get-go, CMU might be a good fit for you. But if you want to try out some classes and you want to consider maybe changing your mind later, this may not be the best setting for you. I also looked at their website for their current FAQ and it does say that they only accept about 35 to 50 new AI majors. And to transfer, you have to apply and write an essay, which almost sounds like you're reapplying for the school all over again. But do please check with the admissions office directly if this is something that you're considering. Now let's break down the curriculum. First category is math and statistics core. So you have to take six courses in this covering essential mathematical foundations like calculus, linear algebra, and probability. Second category is six courses in computer science core. This will provide a solid foundation in functional programming, data structures, and computer systems. And up to here is pretty similar to what general computer science programs will require. The third category is when it gets more specific to AI. You have to take four courses in AI core, really diving into the heart of AI with courses on AI concepts and machine learning with options to specialize in either natural language processing or computer vision. Fourth category is seven courses on humanities and arts. Number five is four AI cluster elective courses. So they offer four clusters that you can choose from, decision-making, machine learning, perception and language, and human AI interaction. Lastly, you have to take three elective courses of your choice. If you want to dive into more details, I've also added the full course list on my website along with the rankings so you can download it. But do note that times change and so do policies. So if you're considering CMU or any other schools on the list, I recommend reaching out directly to the universities to get the most up-to-date information. Now, if you want to learn more about AI careers, watch this video. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should watch this one next. I'll see you there. Bye.